In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a sticky sidebar that follows the user as they scroll down the page, which is very useful if you have an ad or something you want to draw attention to, so that it's always visible on the page. And we're doing this with a plugin. If you want me to do the same thing using straight up jQuery, HTML, and CSS, please let me know in the comments below and I'll make that happen. But for now, let's do it with a plugin and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's head into the screen capture and start making the sticky sidebar. I'll see you there. So the first thing we're going to do is head over to plugins and then click on add new, and then look up Q2W3 sticky widget. This is what we want, it's actually called fixed widget. Sticky widget is pretty close. It's been untested and this version of WordPress updated nine months ago. So back up your site as always before you install a plugin. But it's got a lot of installs, a lot of great reviews and I've used this many times before and it works really well. Super simple plugin. I'm gonna click on install now to install it. Then I'm gonna click on activate. Now that it's activated, it's added a new menu item under appearance, the fixed widget options that we're gonna get into in a little bit. But you don't actually have to go in there and do anything First thing we'll do is go to widgets and see if we have to do anything with the settings. Quite often the default settings are perfect. You don't have to do any additional settings. So you can pick any widget area in here and if you open it, all of them have a fixed widget checkbox added which was not there before. And if you check that box, that widget is gonna be the sticky one that follows the user as they scroll down the page. What makes the most sense is having the last widget be the sticky one, but you can choose one in the middle. We could do archives and make that the sticky widget. I'm not saying you should have your archives, but maybe there's an ad in the middle of your sidebar and you want that to follow the person down the page. Just check the box fixed widget, click on save. I'm gonna head out to the site and look at a blog post. Cause there has to be enough text to actually scroll down. I've got a pretty big sidebar on this site. So there has to be enough text there to be able to scroll all the way down. So as you can see, as we get to archives, it starts to move, but it, it is hidden by our menu up here. So we do have to add some settings or change some settings, but you may not have this extra sticky header, so you may not have that problem. And having a middle widget used as the one that moves, you cover up some of the widget area down below. So even though you can do it, like I said, it's usually best to use the last widget as the one you, that you make sticky. It's so gonna change this to the last widget. Click on save, refresh this page. And now when we scroll down, the meta is gonna follow us. And this could be any widget you want. Like I said, usually you probably want an ad there or a video, but we also wanna see the title of the widget. So what we have to do is go into the widget settings, appearance and then fixed widget options. And there's a couple options here. You don't have to mess with any of them unless you're having this kind of problem. So margin top is the problem I'm having. So I'm just gonna upgrade this to 100 and then save that. Head back out to the site. Let's scroll right to the top as well. So now we're refreshed. If we scroll down, this is a much better placement because we can see the whole title. Might be still a bit too big of a gap between the menu and the meta, but it's pretty good. And as soon as you go to that widget, as soon as you get there, it starts coming with you and it stays with you as far as the bottom of the post which is pretty cool. And that's how easy it is to make a fixed sticky widget. In the options, you can also set a bottom margin. The stop ID is an HTML tag where this margin counts from. So the, the margin below the element is gonna stop and the element will stop at this tag ID if you have one within your page that you're gonna use. The refresh interval is only if your browsers use Mutation Observer API support. I'm not even 100% sure what that is, but likely, if things aren't working right, it could be this refresh interval. So disable width and disable height. If you enter a value here, if the browser screen width is less than the value you enter here, then the widget will be disabled. So you won't have that widget that scrolls with you. On mobile devices, generally you don't see that kind of thing because the screens are small and you don't have widgets in the sidebar. So you don't have scrolling widgets on phones or even some tablets. Compatibility, auto fixed widget ID, that's what we usually have. Disable Mutation Observer. If there is a bug and something's not working right, try this option. If you're debugging something, use this option because it will show the plugin and the widget only for logged in users. So you'll see it because you're in your admin, 
but then users on your site won't see it if this box is checked. Inherit widget width from parent container. Enable that if there is a responsive sidebar on your site. And the jQuery window onload hook. Use this one if there are problems with the scrolling. So if we go back to here, we see our scrolling is quite smooth. We don't see any problems, at least in this browser. So there's probably no problems with the jQuery there, but enable this option if there is and see if that fixes it. Callback hook priority. This is the priority for refreshing of the widget and having it scroll with you. Again, these are only for compatibility things. So if there are issues, these are the checkboxes you try and see if they fix them. Custom IDs, you can add to the widget as well for if you want to do custom CSS or some kind of custom jQuery work, but not required. The only thing you may have to do is a top margin, and the other options are really only there to troubleshoot problems. Just gonna make sure I save my changes. And that's all we have for the fixed widget. So that's all there is to create a sticky sidebar. Again, if you wanna know a method to do this without a plugin, I can show you how using jQuery, HTML, and CSS. No plugin required. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos that appeared on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.